The world is going absolutely crazy as we speak about ApeCoin. So in today's video, we're going to be going through everything that you need to know about the project, where I personally think it's going to go. Do I think it's going to do a 100x like a lot of people are calling for out there on the social medias? And what am I personally doing with this project? So if you don't know me already, my name's Connor and I am not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy sitting in his room. So please go out and do your own research before making any financial decisions. And let's jump straight into this video. So this is the AAX chart of Bitcoin. And we can see right now we are sitting at 40,500, 40,500. We are basically in the same range we've been in for weeks now. Yes, we are above 40,000 right now, which is semi bullish in the short term, but we still have a lot of things at play out there in the world. I just don't think that any movements until we break above around 45,000 are really going to signal any real long-standing bullish momentum. But in the short term, things are looking quite good. I do think we are going to see maybe a little bit more of a pump, but I will not be surprised at all if we do come down to the high 30s again in the very short term. Remember, the whole cryptocurrency markets are basically dictated by where Bitcoin goes. So keep that in mind. So let's jump into exactly what is ApeCoin. So ApeCoin is an Ethereum-based token designed for utility and governance. There are 1 billion of them in total and 28% are currently in circulation. Many of the total supply tokens will vest gradually over the next few years. Vesting gradually over years is definitely a good sign, but do keep into consideration that only 20% of the tokens are currently on the market, which could mean when they are released, the price can come down. Officially, the ApeCoin is the token of the board Ape Yacht Club and acts like a reward for holders of the Bored Ape NFT collectibles. Now, the official line is that it wasn't created by Yuga Labs, the team behind Bored Ape. It was an official creation of the Ape Coin DAO. This is a new decentralized autonomous organization created to govern the token and its roadmap going forward. So, if you don't know, Yuga Labs are the team behind Bored Ape, and Ape Coin itself is actually the decentralized autonomous organization attached to the project. So those are separate entities as we speak. Now the ApeCoin DAO has already recruited some of the most prominent folks around the cryptocurrency community to serve on its initial board. This is very, very bullish stuff, including the Reddit co-founder Alexis Ohamian. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. And FTX's Amy Wu. And they will serve for six months before the Ape holders vote for the next members on an annual basis. Remember, this is a decentralized autonomous organization and how you you have voting rights is by holding the token itself. Now, if that said, I am partnered currently with AAX and you can actually have the opportunity right now if you are a holder of the Ape token to actually stake it here on the platform. Now staking ApeCoin is one of the future utilities that people are expecting, but you can already do this right now on AAX with a fixed rate of 80% APY. This will be for the first week that you deposit it onto the platform. Now on top of that, if you do follow the links down there in my description, you can currently buy crypto without any fee using Coinify and you can also stand the chance to win an iPhone 13 if you do spend at least 200 USDT on the platform. So these are very exciting offers and AAX is a partner here on the channel because I personally think that they are a really good platform with some of the best products out there in the cryptocurrency space to make your life here as easy and profitable as possible. So if we do jump back to that article, like I said earlier, if you hold the Board Ape Yacht Club or a Mutant Ape Yacht Club in your wallet, you can claim a certain amount of free tokens. You can go in and see how much you can get down here. I don't want to bore you of that sort of information, but right now, 15% of the token supply will be allocated to NFT holders. 47% of the total supply will be granted to the DAO treasury and resources. This is to basically fund and put into play everything they want to do going forward. 15% will go to Yuga Labs. These are the guys behind the Board 8 Yacht Club, remember. 8% will go to the four founders of the Yuga Labs and 14% will go to other ApeCoin launch contributors. In addition to this, 1% of the total supply will be donated to the Jane Goodall Legacy Foundation to benefit 
real apes. So you can see here that there are a lot of tokens going out to individuals and this could lead to a price dip. These tokens may be vested over a certain amount of time, but every time they get unlocked, depending on who these people are, may result in them dumping those tokens instantly. So do take that into consideration. So there are a lot of utility that is planned for this coin, but currently there is no utility in place, apart from the fact that it has rewarded the holders of the Bored Ape NFTs. So currently nothing, but potentially in the future, you guys have to decide whether or not you actually trust the team behind it to produce that. For me, I do think that they will do a lot of the utility that they say they will because they just have so many people involved. It's such a famous project. But does that mean that the price itself is going to go up? Definitely. And the answer to that, I'm afraid, is no. This is pure speculation at this point. And if we do look at the chart where we are right now, they have a market cap of $4 billion. $4 billion. That means that as we currently speak, they are sitting 33. This is the 33rd largest coin in existence on the second day it's even been around. That is absolutely insane. Four billion dollars. This is bigger than Hedera, Hashcraft, ICP, Monero, Sandbox, Filecoin, Phantom, VeChain, Axie Infinity, and so many other coins. If I were to put money on this coming down, I would. But I'm not going to short it. I'm not going to do anything. I'm actually personally going to stay away from this coin for now. Do I think that there's a potential to make some money here? Definitely. But right now, this valuation is just way too high for me to take that sort of risk. If you did want to apply a very small moon bag to this, that's something that you could take into consideration. But for me, a market cap of $4 billion on the second day of launch is just not something that I want to mess with. As you can see here on launch, they went up to 20 $20, but this was more like $50. You can see here that a lot of people have already been wrecked by this coin, which doesn't necessarily mean it's definitely going to go down in price, but people are losing a lot of money who bought on day one. Now we speak about this on the channel always. When a project is launched, there is a pump and then there is a pullback because people who manage to buy early or in the pre-sale are of course going to take profits. Now we did drop all the way down to around the $6 mark and we have since pumped over 100%. Could this be the bottom here at $6? Definitely. Is this a risk to reward ratio that I'm willing to take at this moment in time? Definitely, definitely not. I will not be investing in this unless we come down significantly. Now, something that's very interesting, they have been listed on basically every major exchange out there. And I don't think this has ever happened in the history of cryptocurrency, or at least that I've seen, which is huge. This is incredible, but this will bring in a lot of volatility and a lot of people trying to make a quick buck. Remember that these platforms are trying to make the best out of a situation. If you're an exchange that currently lists ApeCoin, you would see volumes through the roof. Right now in 24 hours, we've seen a nine billion dollar volume for this coin. That is huge. And especially now when the market is really fearful. So remember, if you are an exchange like Binance, KuCoin, Gate.io, FTX, all of these different individual platforms, you would be wanting to make the very best of this current market situation. Of course, volume equals more money for the platforms. And as the volume has been much lower recently, this sort of situation can bring in a lot of money and a lot of new investors to these platforms. So the more platforms that have it, the more beneficial for those platforms. And that's why they're all listing them, which is definitely a good sign for the coin. So with that said, do I think that ApeCoin can do a 100 x from where we are right now honestly the answer is currently no if apecoin did a 100x from where we are right now it would be at a 400 billion dollar market cap if we check out the rest of the market that would put it at number two just behind bitcoin now of course cryptocurrency market cap as a whole will not stay exactly the same as we go forward. If the market continues to grow, which I personally think it will, of course, the market cap of Bitcoin will continue to increase. So maybe ApeCoin can fit in somewhere, but a $400 billion market cap is very unlikely in my eyes. If the whole 
entire cryptocurrency market did a 100x. That would put it at $182 trillion. So that would mean that ApeCoin stays where it is right now. The rest of the current market does a 100x in turn making ApeCoin do a 100x. That would put it at 182 trillion. And as we speak right now, the entire market capitalization of public traded securities is 93 trillion. So that's a quite an unlikely scenario. I do not think this coin will do a 100x. If it does fall down significantly, so we're talking a big, big pullback, there is definitely opportunity to make money there and potentially from the bottom you could do a 100x. With that said, do I think that they're going to pull off what they say they're going to do? I think they will pull it off. Do I think it's currently worth a $4 billion valuation? No. Will I eat those words? Potentially. Now, my opinion on this happening right now in the space of time that we're in is very good in my eyes. I think it's absolutely incredible that we're seeing this sort of volume come in during these times. This is complete testament that there are still many people who are looking to get involved in crypto, who are looking to buy projects. And this hype is just waiting to explode. I've been saying this on the channel for a while. I think that all of the good news that we're seeing come out, these fundamental good news, huge companies coming into the world of crypto and all of that sort of stuff, the more this builds and the less effect it has on the current market, the more it's almost coiling up ready for an explosion. That's why I'm personally dollar cost averaging into the projects that I believe in, whether or not the market keeps going down, because I'm here for the long run. And I genuinely think that we are going to see another all time high coming in the future. Now, in my eyes, this could be literally next week, it could be next month, or next year, or in the next few years, I am here for the long run. I've been here since 2017. I'll be here making videos videos talking nonsense on YouTube for the foreseeable future. If you do like this sort of content, please smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.